if you know that you are here for the visions for greatness, the visions for success, choosing people, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. By the special grace of God, my name is Sister Ifani Chiku Kamsi or Chiku Jubiland. I reside at number 34 Wolema Darela Street, Agudasu Rilere, Lagos here. I worship here at headquarters branch, and I'm also a youth worker. You're I'm also here... a youth copper? Yes, sir. You're a youth copper like this? Youth worker. Okay, worker. youth worker. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm here you can, to you can continue. To... I'm here to prove to you that the wonderful move of God in the Lord's choosing ministry is not an exaggeration, but a transparent fact which I, you, my brothers and sisters, have witnessed. The birth of the Lord's choosing ministry was in the response to the divine calling of God upon a great man, which is our daddy in the Lord, who brought us together by grace in units, hundreds, thousands, millions, and billions as members. The ministry started right from number 16 Odunike Street, off Ilasamaja, Lagos, where members came in trips to join the ministry, even to the point where there was no place to stay. People said all sorts of things that the church would last for six months, but our daddy in the Lord persevered, and by the special grace of God, our Lord Jesus Christ led our daddy to our main stay here at number 10 and more of Impact Estate, along go show the Apapa Expressway by Ijesha Bus Stop. I don't go show the upper price race with by Jesha bus stop. The ministry was established on Tuesday, 24 December 2002. Same day, our daddy preached the sermon titled, Do the Will of God and Prosper, which brought to the genesis of countless exploits and testimonies, where a sister testified of how God gave her a child after 22 years and 11 months barrenness, and a brother testified of how God raised him from the dead in three days after the declaration of our daddy in the Lord. Indeed, this is to prove that our daddy is a true messenger called by the God of choosing. Choosing youth, I quote, for a goal to be attained, a vision must be carried out to achieve a mission. Our goal here is to win souls for Christ and to make heaven at last. But for these goals to be attained, a vision must be carried out. That is why here in our ministry, we have threefold vision. Vision number one, to win grassroots revival all over the world. This is a burden to all saved souls to go out there and preach the gospel to every creature in diverse places through various means like bus evangelism, market evangelism, morning cry, evening cry, and even with the use of our apron. According to the book of Mark chapter 16 verse 15, and it says, and he said unto them, just as our daddy in the Lord says unto the choosing people, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Vision number two, revival of the apostolic Christian experiences among the body of Christ all over the world. Where the Lord is telling us to bring back the revival and to restore the Christian experiences such as training, salvation, sanctification, Holy Ghost baptism, faith, zeal, fruits, as well as gifts of the Holy Spirit. According to the book of Acts chapter 2 verse 17, and it says, And in the last day said God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. Vision number three, revival of the heavenly consciousness in the hearts of all believers all over the world. So many Many people have lost the consciousness of Christ because of the earthly things of this world. Therefore, it is our focus as believers to maintain heavenly view and to have the sense of knowledge that heaven is real. According to the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 33, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you as well as our mandate which is to bring 10 billion souls into the kingdom of God before the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Indeed, this is to prove that what we do here is not an exaggeration. These visions have has been carried out and it is still a continuous mission because today the Lord Shudu is a revival church that has gone beyond the 36 states and capitals in Nigeria. Go to UK, we are there. In London, we are there. Barcelona, we are there. In India, we are there. Go to USA, we are there. In New York, we see us. Talk about the African countries. In Ghana, we are there. In Togo, we are there. Tanzania and different countries across the globe with mm. striking testimonies. Choosing youth to prove that our activities and prayers here yeah, are not exaggerations. We have acrobatic, gigantic, striking testimonies, which results as evidence of God's power in our ministry. I recall a brother's testimony, Brother Israel, who testified of how he was killed, and his spirit left him and followed the angel of our dad in the Lord, while he was in coma for the period of two weeks, and he later came back to life. I remember the prayer, our, the testimony of our sister, who testified of how her son was in the midst of danger, and was shot 36 bullets 
not two, no bomb, but 36 bullets and none penetrated. Power. I remember the testimony of our sister, Sister Mesoma, who testified of how she was kidnapped at Water Court and was thrown over the fence into the bush for the period of two weeks with no food, no water, but she was preserved by the God of choosing. And God sent an angel in form of a hunter to save her. Are we talking about the young boy with a hole in the heart who testified of how he was healed without surgery? I remember the recent testimony of our beloved sister who testified of how her Chinese manager who troubled and attempted to sack her was fired by the CEO that same day in that same company after the decree and declaration of our beloved sister. Are we talking about the testimony of our brother who testified of how he was freed from prison after the preachings of our beloved members and a sign shown to him by the God of choosing boldly written at the back of a fish the God of choosing appeared and this was made into manifestation after the magistrate declared him discharged and acquitted are we talking about this series of encounter with cultists armorbats and kidnappers where they surrender after the declaration I am a choosing I am a choosing I am a choosing who are you the God of my pastor where are you and they all surrender choosing you I have a question for you is is this not the finger of God? Is the finger of God? Is this not the wonderful move of God? Is the wonderful Indeed, move of God? Indeed, this is the wonderful move done by the Babi Jesha, the Ayan that I am, the ocean divider, the beginning and the end, the first oh and last, my God. the fighter Monisha, our Ebenezer, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of choosing the answers prayers. Indeed, this is the wonderful move done by the God of choosing. Choosing by many mother you are given in the This is a place where people go to different places and once they step their feet here that challenge is then turned from sorrow to joy. This is a place where after the prayers of our dad in the Lord, our enemies submit, and here we are today, the visions for greatness. Mm. Here we are today, the mm. visions for empowerment. Here we are today, the visions for achievement, the visions for success, the visions for revival. I pray as you are here today, and I quote just as my dad in the Lord, you see you, I see myself. As you are here today, my visions, your visions, our visions, will not elude us in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless. Shall we stand up? Shall we give God a choosing? A standing ovation with a result.